Hello and welcome back to the Pinnacle Esports channel where today we're going to be going through our pickums for the legend stage. So it's going to be a little different from what we did last time for the challenger stage as the time frame between the two stages is really tight and unfortunately we can get Brandon in for that. So just looking at this, the first 3 pick, as you can see, I've already put Na'Vi in. They're going to be the first team we're going to talk about. I think they are the best option based on seeding for this. I think they come in against Game Legion and it should be a fairly easy match for them. Game Legion didn't look too strong, we'll discuss them late, um, later on. But I also think in the second round, based on some of the predictions that I've gone through using the um, the predictor on major.iem uh, or ieb, I can't remember the exact URL for it, but they should face Liquid or NIP in the second round. And that is a matchup that Na'Vi should win again, especially in the best of one. And then in the best of three stage, they are one of the teams that can compete with, you know, the likes of Heroic, FaZe, G2. I think they are the ones, if they get put in that match, they should be able to. But based on their seeding, they should get the easier match of the lot there. So Na'Vi would be my 3-0 if I, and, you know, just talking about a team that I think can actually go 3-0. If you want to play it safe, the second team here, 9, I think they're also a valid option for 3-0. They have some really nice matchups based on their seeding. They played Liquid in the first round, and I think many people are going to favor 9 in this match after the way that Liquid performed in their opening best of ones. I don't think we're going to see that Liquid coming into this. I think they're going to have a bit more, I don't know, structure to them. They they said that Yukindle was taking over the IGL role for this event based on Nitro missing some prac days. I, I just don't see Liquid performing as poorly, but, you know, I didn't expect Miles to perform as poorly as they did. Didn't expect OG to perform, you know, as poorly as they, they perform better than Maus, but yeah, you know, Liquid almost go out in in 3 So why wouldn't you take a look at Nine, a team that's been playing a lot of games, having a lot of success, and you know, say to yourself, well, Nine can take this first opening match, and I think based on seeding as well, they get a very very good second match. The only problem for me becomes in the two O stage where. Can they win a best of three against G2 or, you know, uh, Na'Vi, Heroic, one of these teams? Because that will be the teams that they will be looking to go against. In a best of three, can they do that? I'm not so sure. And that's why I would worry about putting them 3-0. Definitely a chance. Many upsets can happen. We know what the majors are like. We know what the stage is like. We know what the format's are like. So, yeah, nine could be a solid choice for that. I, I look at Furia right now. And I don't know where to place them. I know they've just changed their style up. They had Rio. Um, you know, they were first at the Americas RMR. From what I've got written down in my notes, FaZe, they, they 2 owed them. But then they lost to Heroic and C9. Heroic, I think, is a, a fine loss. C9 are shaky, very shaky at the minute. I don't think they know much themselves what they're doing. Um, so I just don't know where to place Furia. I, I could see them going through. They have some good matches again, but... I, I don't know. They could easily be upset with, by Monty in the first round, but it depends if they start slow. Monty are probably in quite a, you know, position where they're quite hyped up about what's what's happening in their camp. They um, they managed to qualify for the Legend stage in a close match against Pain. And if I say a close match, uh, Pain's map pick was horrendous. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. And I... I just don't know where to place Fury. That's that's it. I don't know where to place them. They have great individuals. They're trying a new style. And it could work into this event, but they could also just bomb out. Uh, I, I worry a lot about them. So, yeah. Let's not put Fury in currently. We might put them in at the end. Now, the next team is, again, another team I'm just not entirely convinced about. And that's because of the way that they qualified to this stage. So they've played against Viperio in an overtime game. I'm sure many will remember that alongside the end of the breach game. One win and bait. They aren't exactly teams of the same caliber, you know, that, I don't know, Bad News Eagles would have played against the qualify for, for this stage. But, you know, Fnatic, I just, I don't know. I'm not convinced by them. And I do worry about how they're going to play. They get NIP again in the first mat round here. It's a replay of the uh, I Am Rio Major first round matchup. It was Fnatic NIP, and Fnatic took that. That was the one where NIP went 0-3, same as FaZe. So 
you know, Fnatic have a, a decent chance in this match. They could just upset NIP. Um, I think it is an upset if they do lose, if NIP do lose. I think NIP should be favorites here. I'm just not convinced as Fnatic. Um, and there's a bit of bias there as an NIP fan, but also, you know, I, I'm just not convinced. They lost to OG 2-0 as well in Rio. Um, I just, yeah, I, I can't put Fnatic through. I have seen some O3s. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure if, if Brandon put them O3, but we'll see his picks later on. Um, Heroic. Heroic is my other team. I'm going to put Heroic through. I think they are solid. They, you know, they were finest at Rio. I just, I just don't think there's a bad player in this team. You know, they are such a strong unit. I can't see a world where they don't make playoffs. How they perform in playoffs, different, different thing entirely. Uh, I just don't, yeah, I, I don't see them not qualifying. Now, into the breach is the next one. I think many team, uh, many people will have them as their O3. Um, I'm kind of torn between them and Gamer Legion as my as my O3. Um, but I kind of have to back the boys in, in some way. So, uh, yeah, I think we won't put them O3. We'll have, uh, Game of Legion will probably end in there, but we'll talk about them later on. Uh, yeah, again, into the breach. I think many people just don't expect the kind of caliber of this team to be able to compete with some of the others here. They had a surprising, a very surprising RMR. And yeah, it went Na'Vi, Sprout, VP, Bait. So... I, and I, the, the also the, the caveat here for them is that I think if Maus hadn't beaten FaZe, which was an upset as well, then they wouldn't have made Legends. They would have just gone to the Challenger stage. And it would have been interesting to see how they'd actually have done in that stage. It's like if they could have made it out of that stage, then maybe more people would be, you know, less likely to put them in this 0 But we didn't get to see them in the easier stage and they're going straight into the thick of it. So how are they actually going to perform here? I'm not sure. They did beat some better teams than Fnatic though I mean VP Sprout is a bit of a cop out um bait as well a team that Fnatic also beat so yeah the Navi one was interesting um spoke to Juvie in an interview and he said that you know they they should never have even come close in that game uh, you know they won up a mistake from Navi so you know if they can capitalize on some of these mistakes these teams then sure they can do it but I'm also not convinced they're gonna go through Vitality Vitality are a team that I think are going to go through here. Zywu, incredible form. They've just won off of uh, I am Rio. You know, I just... I, I They also had a very impressive run at the RMR. It was more their run um, trying to obtain the space for this legend stage in which they had to beat Monte and they beat G2. And I believe the G2 result was a 2-0 in favor of Vitality. So, you know, as G2 being one of my favorites for this event, the whole thing, I think it's very interesting to see the form Vitality is in and home crowd behind them. If they, when they, if and they should when they make it to the arena, they're difficult not to uh, not to pick as a favorite for this whole thing. So, yeah, I think Vitality a bit of a no brainer. Bad News Eagles, I don't think that they are going to be an O3. I think that uh, with Bad News Eagles, so yeah, they beat phase 2-0 at the RMR. They took Apex to OT and they 2-1 Game Legion. So just based on those results, I wouldn't put them as low down as like Game Legion. I think they are in the upper bunch of these like tier two teams. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them through, but I don't think they're going to perform in an 0-3 spot. They might lose some of the opening games. I mean, they get Ents in the first round and Ents look great. They've just warmed up, um, you know, going 3-0. So they've already played the stage out uh, and the format out in the challenger stage. So Ents should take that series. But again, there's always a chance for an upset and Bad News Eagles could do that. But I don't think they will. I think Ents will be another team that will go through. I, I think they had a really good challenger stage. I don't think many people expected the 3-0, especially in such a convincing fashion of a phase. I mean, phase, they just struggle in this stage. Um, but yeah, I think Ents look good. d has been incredible. Madden as well. Um, it annoyed me in the NIP game. He is someone, you know, usually he just, he plays his role. He plays his role extremely well. And in that game, he was exceptional. The amount of openings he got onto ramp. Um, on Virgo was just insane. So I think if they can keep up that and 
you know, Madden can just pull out games like this. When I mean, he doesn't even need to. You've got Nurch, you've got Sampai, you've got Diha. That is a team stat for the talent. So it's, yeah, I think Ent should do it. G2, another team I think should go through. I think Monazi was the best rate player in the challenger stage. Again, you know, if you've got such a young talent putting up such high numbers, and then you've got the likes of JKS, who I think was their second highest rated player, and you've got Hunter, you know, you've got Nico. You don't even need Hooksy to frag at that point. This team is insane with the amount of talent, and the hunger on this for Nico is like none other. You know, this guy should be wanting this, and I think the hunger is going to translate through the squad. You know, I, I think Manazi is such a young player; he's going to want this. He knows he can do it. So, yeah, I think G two is the team that is going to go through. Possibly another three O option, but their first round is extremely tough against Vitality. That matchup seems to go back and forth from when I was looking at statistics of the head-to-head. -head. It seems to be, you know, G2 will win and then Vitality win. G2 win, Vitality win. And the last time they played, Vitality won. So based on that, you know, if you want to add a bit of superstition in, G2 are going to win this match. But yeah, it's tough. They're warmed up, you know. Vitality, they're in really good form. It should be a great game. But I, I, I wouldn't be able to say off the top of my head who's going to win. Um... But, you know, based on a bit of superstition, a bit of head-to-head, -head, back and forth, G2 should win this based on the win-loss, win-loss that they keep uh, having with Vitality. So the next team is Apex. They look great in the Challenger stage. They they did look great. Um, but I don't know if I have them through. I put them in the same kind of bracket as Bad News Eagles in terms of, like, the upper end of this Tier 2 teams. You know, I don't think they're going to... They'll beat a Game Legion, you know, they'll... they'll they're probably going to beat Monty. Um, they'll beat Into the Breach. So I don't know if they're going to go through, but I don't have them coming dead last. FaZe, I have FaZe going through. I just think there's too much talent, too much experience on this roster for them to not make it through. It's kind of like how... It'd have to be exceptional for them to have another poor performance in this stage. You know, they went 0-3 in Rio. They didn't do, didn't do poorly in the first stage, uh, at the Challenger stage. But, you know, you probably would have expected them to win that game against Ents and go 3-0. Uh, but, I, I, yeah, I just can't see them not going through, you know. Um, Rain was having a great a great stage as well. So, you know, he just seems to be, be on for another MVP if they do manage to uh, go through and win this one. Now, NIP, there's some bias here, but it's tough. My So my last two spots here with these four teams, yeah, to be spoken about, I think NIP and Liquid should be maybe like a 2-2 game. And it's going to be really tough to decide it. The problem with NIP right now is that Brolin is not performing in the way that he needs to be for this team to win. Hedrick is looking better and better. I think him having config in the team is really helping him to actually play the way he needs to play um, to compete with some of these other AWPers. I think he's going to be challenged a lot coming into this stage. You know, you've got the likes of Zaiwu, you're simple. Um, so, I mean, even if they have to play against G2, which I don't think they do because of the seeding. But if you were to look at it in the way that the bracket would work out as a 2-2 game between NIP and Liquid, I think Hedrick right now, better form than OC. And I don't know, They, I, I think there's a, there's a decent match there. You know, that should be a very fun game to watch. But I'll put them through. Um, it'd be great to see them in the arena. It, you know, they're such a big name across Counter-Strike. So, yeah, I, I will have them through. I think their games are tough. Um, if they beat Fnatic in the first round, they're going to play the likes of, you know, G2 or Na'Vi. Um, if they play Na'Vi, then they go 1-1, and then who knows from there. But I think they can do it. They've been looking a lot better recently. Reds had a great series in the, um, well, a great stage in the Challenger stage. So yeah, there's a high chance for them. See, Monty, Monty is a team I struggle to play, especially without a coach. They they seem like a, a good team. They've got Boros, who is insane. The fact that Sundar Young is now with the IGL and is able to allow Warrior 2K to actually focus on the orping. I, I, this team is good, but they can get shaken. And I think that is the problem in this stage when you're playing against some of these big teams. If they can't get a grasp on these games, then they're just going to run away from them. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't put Monty through, but, you know, they, they are a good team. And I think people need to recognize that even without a coach, it's impressive what they've managed to do to get to this stage. Liquid are another team. And 
I would put them, I'd put them through because I think this is a, you know, when it comes to a best of three game, they can do it. But as I was talking about with the seeding, it's tough to have liquid through and an IP. Um, I think it's one or the other, and I think it's a 50 50 game, really. Uh, I think liquid probably have the, oh, it's tough. I was going to say have the better individuals, but even saying that, I'm questioning it. Um, the one thing that is, kind of worrying about this team is I think Naf was their highest rated player across the challenger stage and you gotta keep in mind Naf had a game where he went like 0-15 I think on uh, Ancient he went 0-15 and, and a half that is not you know that is not promising when he is your highest rated player for the entire event uh, of the challenger stage and he went 0-15 in a game how poorly are your other players playing um, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't see what will Liquid go through. And last one is Game Legion. These are both teams that went 0-2 and managed to qualify, um, which is impressive in a way, but, you know, to have that resilience, the comeback. But I think I'm going to have to put Game Legion as my 0-3. It's them or Into the Breach. I think it's a very hit on this, but Game Legion shouldn't be in this stage. Mao should not have played anywhere near the level that they played, but they did, and... Yeah, I, I just, I can't see Game of Legion making it out of this stage. I think you're very, yeah, it's, it's very uh, fair to try and put into the breach here, but I can't not back the boys, so I have to put Game of Legion. And then I have a final spot. I think the last two spots are very difficult. I think if you were to have nine in this spot, um, so if I was to do this, then that would be it. Like, I would be fairly confident, maybe NIP swapped with Liquid or even Furia. Um, for NIP, it depends on the first round. The same for Liquid, if they, they can easily lose uh, that first round. And Furia might shock everybody by playing really well, or they might shock everyone by playing horribly. So, yeah, if, I definitely think the NIP one could definitely be swapped for Furia or for Liquid. Um, but, yeah, that is going to be the picks. And we'll go to Brandon now to see what he thinks. And I'm sure we're going to have some very different options. What's up, guys? How are you doing? It's another one of these pinnacle predictions. Um, unfortunately, me and Archie, our schedules are conflicting a little bit. So I think he's going to do his picks. I'm going to do my picks. But hopefully this records all okay for you. Um, I think this legend stage, it's so it's it's really straightforward and quite easy to get five picks. Um, I'm going to show you the different ways in which you can be safe, the different ways in which you can go about this. I think if you want to be safe, uh, you can go for the Hawker approach, which is just put all of the big five teams down here that will make it through. There's phase. So there you've got five, right? It's going to happen. Ents, that should make it through as well. Pretty standard. And then this, this spot here is quite flexible. Um, so you can put kind of whoever you want. In terms of the free zero, I actually think... We're not going to do this method. We're going to move one of these teams from the bottom and we're going to put them in 3-0. And I think there's three genuine teams that could make it into 3-0. Um, you've either got Na'Vi, who make it to every single playoffs. You've got Heroic, who are really consistent in the group stage. And you've got G2, who are looking really good at the moment and potentially could make it 3-0. By my hesitation, you can tell I'm not going to pick G2. So therefore, it's out of Heroic and Na'Vi. Um, I think if you take a look at these two, I think they're actually your best bets to make 3-0, just in general. Um, so I'm actually going to go for Heroic. I think Heroic have got just the most consistent pieces and rosters we've got in World Counter-Strike at the moment. I feel like a lot of players are finally getting a lot of the applause they really deserve, such as Shush, such as Tessez. So, for me, I'm going to go with Heroic. And we're going to keep it there as well. Update picks. This is it. In terms of um, your five teams, most confident to least confident here, if you wanted to rearrange them, it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to rearrange them, I would literally just go Na'Vi, uh, G2, Vitality, Phase, Ents. Um, where's Ents? There they are. 
Um, in terms of other teams that could make it through, NIP looked quite good in challenger stage, going to be honest. Um, wasn't quite 3-0, but it was 3-1. Fury have got a really good opportunity as well. They always look pretty decent. Um, there's an argument for bad news Eagles because they always do well in the best of ones. And I think if they go 2-0 in the best of ones, then you've got a really good chance of them making it through the BO3s. So the, these two spots are quite flexible. You can put whoever you want in here. I'm going to go with nine. Uh, who's a team that I've not yet mentioned. Nine have just got a very unique uh, play style, especially on the CT side. They mirror quite a lot of what Heroic does, but they've got the best upset team potential. They've got a really strong vertigo. You can pick Ancient against them, but you, you imagine, right, that they've been working hard on their Ancient coming into this major. So I reckon that's going to be pretty solid. And then for my final pick, I, it, it doesn't matter. You can, you can go NIP. I'm going to go for Into the Breach because I have to support the boys. I was thinking about putting them 3-0 and I thought that was a bit lame um, because, look, they're going to get through. So I might as well just get a guaranteed point with them in the bottom. Um, for 0-3, it's an interesting one. It, it really is an interesting one. You can put a number of teams. I think this 0-3 is probably one of the hardest ones to pick. I think... Liquid 03 would actually be a really good shout. Um, I put in the video, I said fours three zero. I actually ended up moving my pickums afterwards. I put fours in the bottom and I put liquid 3 0 because I was like, they can either just about get through or they can just absolutely wipe the floor and smash. And I believe a lot in that presser where your kinder was like, oh yeah, we'll show them a different style of Counter Strike. I don't know. Um, but instead of mucking about here, I'm going to go Fnatic. And it hurts me to do that. But I think Fnatic right now, they're looking a little bit shaky. They're looking a little bit worse for wear. And I'm kind of worried that we've kind of hit the potential of this team. And we're now on the downward trajectory rather than an upwards. Um, so that's just my initial thoughts and feelings. O3 is really open up for debate. You're going to get a lot of people putting different teams in here, which is valid. But I think as long as you've got Navi G2, Vitality Phase, Ents, Heroic even in the bottom as well, you're going to get five regardless. So it it's pretty easy. It's it's a pretty decent one. That There's my picks done. And uh, Archie, you better have similar ones.